Hey, let's talk about your transition from high school to CIS and how have the first couple months been for you? Definitely a lot harder. Um, practices are really intense. Everybody is working hard every day in the gym and in the workout room. So, I don't know, it's really been good though. I like it. Let's talk about the skill side of things and uh, obviously playing in the CIS is going to be a bit trickier. I haven't played a game quite just yet, but you've had the practices and played with the players. Well, we the how first, first question? What's up? I don't know, framing is a little bit weird, so okay. we just we'll want to do the first after. question. Should be yeah. good. Uh, yeah, so let's talk skill-wise first then. Obviously, you're coming in from high school over into CIS. And no games quite just yet, but you've played with the players. Tell me about the differences in skill between your high school to this level of competition. Um, my high school team was pretty good, not going to lie, but my university team is definitely better. Um, we have been working really hard in the gym, and it's great to be with older players that have pushed me and pushing each other really well. Let's talk about uh, the, the academics and stuff so far too. So obviously the student athlete side of things, you need to be able to have those academic sides. How have you been adjusting to that so far? It's definitely a lot busier. Um, high school teachers kind of help you along and university you're kind of on your own. So you got to be super organized and keeping your schedule on track. So yeah. So let's talk about uh, your being a setter. Let's talk about the chemistry and trying to develop chemistry with all these new teammates that you have here. How difficult has that been and how do you actually accomplish that? It's definitely something to get used to. The sets are a lot faster than what I've played with before and just playing with diff different middles especially is hard to find the connection with them rather than middles I've been playing with for like years. So it's still going to take some time but I'm getting there so it'll be good. <laughs> Last one for you. Let's talk about your overall goals for the season. Maybe one or two that uh, you're striving for. Um, just to be a really strong presence on and off the court, um, trying to be a leader in my first year and helping the other setter that I play with, like giving her tips and stuff. If I'm on the bench or if I'm playing, just being consistent and working hard. All right, Julia, let's talk Alyssa, about the you. off season. How was it for you in terms of uh, playing and relaxation? Uh, it was busy. We didn't do too much relaxing. We always keep on the court and in the gym to make sure that we're keeping uh, ourselves physically apt for the upcoming season. We want to be just as ready as all the next teams, so there's no rest days in volleyball. Let's talk about uh, coming in from last season to this season, and obviously you guys playing very well last season. Let's talk about the expectations for you guys this uh, this time around. Uh, I think we just want to try, prove to ourselves that we can do it and we can be better than last year. Even though we uh, got back to the playoffs since uh, the first year, we want to make that run again and make it better and even go farther this year. You're becoming that veteran presence on the team now, and, and tell me about that and what that's been like for you. Uh, it's an awesome role to step into. I've always kind of had a leader inside of me and it's nice to be able to bring that out on the court and in the gym, in the classroom, everywhere. It's nice to take people under my wing and show them the true way. Last one for you, Julia. Let's talk about your goals for the season personally and uh, team-wise. Uh, all over, I want to be relentless. I want the team to be relentless. I just want to get back to that playoffs and make a run for it. Julia, thank you. No worries.